Hey everybody, you are tuned in to a somewhat special Freemat podcast. I am the one and only Matt Freemat. My usual co-host, obviously not here, the one and only General Patrick Flynn. Um, we are still working on getting normal, normal shows together. I snuck in, I don't want to say what I was doing or how I snuck back into the bombed out crater of the parking lot of the Mogadishu Downs, but I did want to tell you guys that the sun finally came back out. I was enjoying some cold weather and rain and then storms, and it was wreaking havoc on what I was supposed to be doing. But eventually it stopped. That's my inspirational moment. My actual my actual topic I wanted to talk about was not you know, said it, I guess it was a form of letting go, but I know a lot of people that seem to be kind of bitter about ex girlfriends, ex wives, and some of the smartest people I met were the people that moved on for one and two were able to find good when those exes, ex-girlfriends, ex-wives, whatever, were, I guess you were happy when they moved on and you saw good and when they grew and when they found some form of peace. And I wanted to tell you guys that I had found I guess, aha moment. It took me a while, and it it was actually an ex-girlfriend, I don't want to say her name, but she lived in Florida the same time I was stationed down there. And I guess I was too green to know what, I guess, the good things I could get out of that relationship, and even the relationship when it fell apart. It took me a couple of days of being mad, and yes, I was told, hey, it's time to move on to something else in your life. But the pay dirt is when I discovered the things that she was attempting to teach me and attempting to hint at. And there were some, I guess it was called bro science truisms. Yes, please have fun with that one. And there were a lot of things that I guess, well, I just completely failed at, and I failed to do for this person. I I just wanted people to laugh, and I want them to think of this way, that maybe the that person, they, A, they weren't supposed to be with this person to begin with, and B, that you can grow and you can learn things from this person. Well, I will say this much. We'll just call her. We'll call her former former lady of my life, and we were a bunch of young. We were young people. It's hell. It's almost been twenty years ago, but it was a weird time, and there were a lot of things that she was trying to tell me, and I didn't have the ability to hear to listen, and it took years. And years of me reading and discussing and just pondering. And there were so many things I, sh- I could have learned. I did later, but I could have learned at the time. And I owe this person a thank you. And I, I think that if, if you can turn back from you know, the bitterness or like grudges and stuff like that, you can learn things. And, and I've told people that before. I'm like... Yeah, there's a point where you're going to have to be stop being hateful. I did. I don't think I was hateful, but I imagine I had some 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 ill feeling ill feeling, but I encourage y'all to do that. I encourage y'all to be to try to find something good about it. And I found a lot of good things. Now, it was a short a short run little adventure. Our relationship fell apart. Were there bad things? Sure. But the whole thing about forgiveness is, guys, that people are people. They have all sorts of pitfalls to them. 
obviously, I wasn't an angel at the time. I'm not one now. Have things changed? I learned, and I changed because of the things I learned? Sure. Now, I did want to say that I did find this, did find the lady at the time. Just call her the lady now. And she, I mean, she wanted to get into music. She, she was a talented person. It looks like she's having fun. She had fun with it, too. And I think that a change in venue was better. I know she had spoke about it. And there were a lot of things that didn't seem to set into motion. And I don't fault her for, I guess, feeling uh, some, some stuff, that, you know, feeling stuff was wrong. But when her life could get into motion and things kind of, you know, the wheels, the wheels and the gears set, set in motion, I, I think that she's doing a lot better. She looks like she's having a hoot. And the people and her band and the folks she's interacting with, it, I, I really admire that. And I admired somebody who had fun. That's something that I could tell you that I'm glad other people have been able to see and experience the fun that she brings. And, you know, obviously I'm going to joke and say that the hat's off to you, of course, if you're listening or watching this. But, you know, guys, it's, you know, I'm happy when when those people that might have had some friction with, they're able to get something out of life and, and, and move on. And I like when they can smile, like when they can, you know, in, I said, uh, celebrate the little joys of life. And, yeah, and the irony is, I think we both left the state of Florida, and our lives changed. And it, people joke and say, oh, it's the Florida man, it's the Florida woman. I, to be honest with you, we, I guess we both needed to leave Florida. I jokingly said something was in the water, and, and it was driving us nuts. It drove me to drink, and I really steered, cleared steered clear of ha ha of uh, booze these days I'm largely sober I really don't need the stomach rot right now but I mean look guys we I moved on my life I struggle with some things but learn to find the happiness and to be honest with you learn to find small bits of happiness and knowledge in your interactions, your past interactions, or even current interactions with exes. And I know that's an unheard of thing, but try to be positive about this kind of stuff. And just, I mean, I'm not telling you you need to reach out to these people, but be happy, man. Just th throw some vibes, good ones, man. I'm happy. I, re I really am. I like watching this person's videos and their band and interviews and stuff. I think it's hilarious. And just just be happy for them. I, I, I jokingly said my other, my other ex-girlfriend, I, I, I really hope that good things happen to her too. I said there's all sorts of ex-girlfriends I could wish that for, but the two specifically, I mean, I passed through the neck of the woods where this one person lived. And I'm like, I honestly hope something good. I hope this person has a family and, and some type of internal mechanism that brings them joy and some semblance of peace, peace of mind at least. And I, I, to be honest with you, I wish all of you that. I don't want, there's very few people I could think of I want bad things to happen to. To be honest with you, I'd rather have you have a mediocre, boring life if I really wish something on you. And even that is, is kind of low. But uh, I did want to add a small tidbit that this person that I had met, the former lady, we had met at a Wesley Willis concert. And one of the weirdest things is that we were some of the few people that went there to enjoy it. And I, she seemed to have such a blast there. And that was probably one of the most notable things that it brought her that much joy. And I really admire things like that. 
And that's something I could say you could learn from people, those little things like that, those little character things. And to be honest with you, I said it was neat to meet her friends. I let her, uh, actually let her and her friends tour parts of my ship. It was kind of shut down, but uh, we got to look at ship and uh, had a blast, man. I mean, hell, it's part of life. Your interactions with people. It's like this, this, the pie of life, and those little slices are little. Those people get little slices, and over time, it might, the pie grows, the slice gets smaller, but you never know. I mean, every little pie is a part of your life. And yeah, those people get a pie slice. It doesn't diminish their effectiveness. It just means the pie got smaller. And we had a blast. It didn't work out, but you know what? Life happens, man. I, I, I want you guys to know that. Try not to be bitter about exes. Uh, put on a black straw cowboy hat and tell people about it in videos. And I was going to jokingly tell you guys if you're ever near Altamont, it was Altamont Springs, Florida, or Altamont, Florida, down there outside of Orlando, just wave your hand up and say, that's where old Matt Free Matt went. All right, guys, I want you guys to please take care of yourself. I want you to do, be, and I want you to love. All right, please take care. See ya.